What's up, TikTok? I'm running a test this month to see if I can actually earn stock using AdWords. Robinhood has this cool referral program where you get to share your link and whoever signs up, you're both eligible to receive up to $500 in free stocks. So I used my recent experience with AdWords and created an AdWords campaign with my own money to see if I could get people to sign up with my Robinhood link and join the app. I started the AdWords campaign on January 3rd and probably running for at least 30 days, especially with the budget that I already have set up. So I will report back with what actually happened. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Today we're talking about the really fun test I did in the last 30 days and the $250 worth of free stock I got from Robinhood's referral program and a AdWords campaign. Sounds complicated, but it's actually really not. I'm gonna talk through why I actually did it, what gave me the motivation and inspiration to actually do this, and what were the actual results at the end of it. So the inspiration of this entire test actually came from somebody I saw do this with Uber Eats. They used their Uber Eats referral program and their referral link, used an AdWords campaign to actually post it out to people on Google, and they got thousands of dollars of free food, free delivery credits through Uber Eats. So that inspiration with my recent understanding of AdWords and ad search campaigns, and then on top of that, becoming a little more acquainted with a couple of these newer brokerage like Robinhood and Webull, it kind of created the perfect combination to run a test like this. So while my main brokerage is Vanguard, and that's what I've used for my IRAs and my self-managed brokerage, I had to pick an app or a new brokerage for this particular test. One that would had had a lower barrier to entry and had a referral program. Vanguard does not have that. So I looked at Webull and I looked at Robinhood. Robinhood had the lowest barrier to entry for anybody that's getting referred. And by that I mean they only had to link their bank account. They didn't actually have to deposit any money. They did have a $500 limit annually to free stock that you can earn from those referrals, which was completely fine. But that meant I just had to expedite and really optimize the campaign up front to make sure that this 30 days really was gonna count. Now, before we go any further, I do have to put the disclaimer out that because we're talking about stocks and because we're talking about brokerages, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This was just a really fun test that I ran for the last 30 days using some referral links and some AdWords campaigns to see if I could make a little money. Again, not advice not saying you should go try it and not telling you which brokerage to actually go use. So after I figured out that I was gonna use Robinhood for this, I had to get my referral link, create a couple of ads and actually kind of work through what I was gonna do with AdWords. I didn't create a full on normal campaign. I did something they call a smart campaign, which anybody who actually works with AdWords understands that the smart campaign optimizes a lot quicker and it requires a lot less work. So I wanted to make this as passive as possible. You throw in a couple of keyword phrases, you throw in the geos that you're actually targeting, and you create a couple of really simple ads without the ads extensions and other things that you can do for AdWords, and then just shoot it out there. So the actual stats for the AdWords campaigns, the type of campaign that I actually did, which I already mentioned, was a smart campaign. The budget was $10 a day, so $304 for the month. I ended up getting a $100 credit after the first $50 spent, which is gonna come into play later on and actually makes a difference in the profit. And then the keyword phrases that I actually used were fire, stock market investing, dividend growth, investing with friends, Robinhood stocks, Robinhood stocks app, and left it there. Eventually, I changed up those keyword phrases about the eight. So I kicked this thing off on January 3rd and started to make a couple of little changes. I'm gonna uh, share a couple of the notes I had from as we were moving through it. Something as simple as I really started to notice that when people were getting referred over, I had about 38 pending. So there was something that was holding people up and quickly found out that it could have been something as simple as that deposit piece or maybe linking your bank account was sketching some people out. So almost in the middle of this, I added one more ad to actually bring that to bear and show that you only need to link your bank account versus depositing money. I also changed a couple of the keyword phrases and really got back to the Robinhood side of things. And I really searched through what people were searching and showing up on the ads and making sure that it was less about investing and stock questions and specifically looking for Robinhood app, Robinhood free stocks, things like that. People that were actually going to take action and link up on that AdWords campaign versus just trying to Google things and then click an AdWord and waste a click for me. Also already mentioned this, but earned a free ad credit for AdWords. Uh, spend $50, get $100 ad credit on the 8th of January. So uh, just a little bit after, four days after actually starting the campaign. And then I also had an additional promotion in Robinhood 
earn an additional stock once you refer three people. So it kind of all waterfalled really early on for me. When I finally ran out of the ad credit, I was actually up, so profiting $53.57, and it actually ran out on January 18th. So I was saying I was gonna run this for an entire month, so I was gonna push all the way through and hopefully continue to make the referrals come through and actually make a profit off this. So here are the actual metrics from this entire campaign and this test. Total stocks gained on February 3rd were $250.21. The average amount of the stocks gained was about $5.21. Total referrals that actually converted, so people that clicked and then filled out and I got a free stock for, were 48. How many people actually sat in pending still on February 3rd, so I probably will still earn some of these stocks, is 35. Reminders, which were really cool, I probably had about every three days, so the people that were early on got plastered with reminders. And the total capital gain of that $250 stock was actually $284.03. So that means I actually had a $33.82 gain, so a 14% gain while doing this test as well. The cool piece is that the stocks themselves actually will count as 1099 income and then the of course the gains will count as capital gains and in this case short-term capital gains for me. The total cost of this AdWords campaign was $317 so the cost with credit was $193.37 so that was the cost to me. Profit without the credit I actually lost money if I did not have that credit so $32.97 but the profit with the credit was actually $90.66. The important piece there is to keep in mind this would be an annual test and there's a chance that you could have made more stock, so more expensive stock, faster. I took 30 days and really didn't get any of these larger priced stocks, so I definitely cut the cord at 30 days and took that $90 profit to the bank with the AdWords credit. what's actually next? Well, with the stocks, I've already sold them. Once they settled in my account and at the very end of this test on maybe February 4th or 5th, I ended up transferring that amount over to my Vanguard account because that's my main brokerage. I want to actually reinvest that cash into dividend stocks, ETF, mutual funds, the stuff that I normally invest in and with the metrics that I normally look for. A lot of the stocks that I earn just don't hit the criteria that I'm looking for in a long-term buy and hold stock. As for the brokerage, I'm sticking with Vanguard. I've used Vanguard for a very long time. I have ETFs, mutual funds, my dividend stock portfolio, and then my IRAs as well in my Vanguard account. They have great customer service. I've always worked with them and it's just simple to keep my money where it's at and continue investing in the way that I have. So that's all I got for you guys. I probably will do this again next year, hopefully a little more efficient, probably use the AdWords information and data from this test and actually use a traditional campaign and actually get it a little more targeted to see maybe I can expedite everything. So excited about next year and trying this again. Of course, also kind of depends if Robinhood's around next year after everything that's that's been going on, especially in January. If you guys like the video, go ahead and press the like button. If you have any questions or comments or maybe some of the technical aspects to it, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.